Namaste guys and girls welcome back to our tutorial in this section I'm gonna be showing you how you can make the navbar of a face cook so first of all go to get bootstrapper common components and copy the navbar so here's the navbar and just replace with uh, our text as you can see it looks similar like this and uh, now we will like to change this to uh, navbar color to the facebook or original blue color so we will use the inspect element for that getting blue colors uh, hex code and now let's paste it up and now I want to make the navbar white okay let's make it important so navbar link will be white and it's clearly visible right now so what we're gonna do right uh, now is copy uh, delete this link and then drop down of the navbar uh, left it to the side we don't want all of them so we want just a submit uh, search and write navbar and we want to delete that button to uh, just make a search instead of that submit so it looks cool right now and I want to give this a padding to uh, left so such that it comes under the input of uh, input search so let us uh, add uh, left let us add margin left as you can see it is working properly and now we would like to increase the width of this input so we would add class input search and we would increase the width from uh, CSS why it is not working I guess ok ok uh, I think I would copied this two times this class so I need to first of all uh, erase this class system and copy this to uh, original class and uh, it will work as you can see over here and let us add the height of 1.2 me uh, I guess it's not working so we'll use pixel okay you can see uh, we are uh, providing some okay let's add padding to navbar itself now we would like to do some customization with a uh, link so first of all we need to change it up we'll add class nav icons we would be adding icons like messages add friends and notification so it is a glyph icon replace this to inbox user and globe as you can see it is uh, working good right now and add a setting and with deleted carrot to glyph icons lock uh, glyph icons chevron as you can see beside that lock and just tweak this uh, default test bootstrap codes to our uh, customize it to ourselves and add some classes and you want that this uh, would be in black in color so you can see it is clearly visible right now and let's add nav nav icons to a uh, color we need the color of this this dark blue color so let us see if this is the color no, no, this is the original color of navbar, so we need to just find it out and paste. Okay, as it is clearly uh, looking like the same. Now we would need an image of this Facebook, so we would uh, like copy this. Uh, we need to get this image, so I'm using an uh, inspect element for that. And opening new tab, I will inspect element and change the background color to black so that I can clearly see that white image. So I'm changing that background color to black as you can see. Now we can see that, and now I will paste it over here and replace and rename it to logo. And now we will go above and comment this Facebook text and add images and uh, give it a location and uh, a class Facebook. Uh, Facebook logo and it is looking cool right now isn't it but we need to give it a margin of little uh, such that it goes a little top and we want this margin of this input text to be more closer as it is in Facebook right. so it is perfect it's looking perfect right now now we would do we would add nav icons to that itself so that it must also be in blue deadlock icon as you can see over there okay i pasted uh, wrong wrong location okay so it's working right now and now it's time for uh, adding our uh, images so i would uh, copy image of dp 
here is my profile picture and would paste over there rename with dp and let's add image in the first li class that i added and name it and we're gonna give it nav dp class name so we'd go to css and change the width of it fixes right now and we'll give a border of one pixel solid uh, dark gray like stuff so we need to give it a margin of three picks to that ally such that it comes in horizontal lining and vertical alignment and it is uh, good right now so let's give the span and we would make it a little bold because i don't want that to be that uh, light so it is it is good right so we would now be moving to another part and would be making it uh, customizable to our screen of mobile with and tablet with so we'll add minimum width to 200 and max width to 500 580 pix and let's see if it's working why isn't it working it's let us increase this max width it's still not working okay let me see the console i guess uh, my width is let me see the console okay so it is 700 pixels so i need to add 1020 maybe okay so let us add increase it to 1320 and reduce that so it is uh, it is now crystal clear as we're increasing the size would decrease and after that it would uh, increase so i want that uh to be blue color i don't want that white color of nav or hidden bar so we'll create a uh, copy and paste that from this section and i would rename it to nav bar i will rename uh, we'll get the color section so again we need to add this and in this section we're gonna uh, in this media will be uh, max fit would be 7, 6, 768 and we would remove this Okay, let us remove navbar left clearly and now it is uh, it is clearly uh, visible so what we do right now is we will be adding a span in every ally right such that if the screen size is less it will be appearing like friends messages and notifications and over there we're adding uh, change that span to i and add f uh, more uh, now we would give this nav icons to uh, display none let us refresh and see why isn't it okay. oh okay i had added a light must not be a light must be span so let us refresh uh, as you can see that it is now clearly working now i want okay we need to uh, made it appear in if his screen size is more or less so it is working right now let us commit color to white uh, a little white is and it is all things is looking good okay we must also add the default take search value to amazing as it's seen in the uh, default facebook navbar and give the font font weight to that drop down and it must be of white color if it is of less size so yes it is it is perfectly it is perfectly looking right now and the font weight of this should be it is green no no green isn't suiting that that color is good and uh, let us add navbar fixed to it. but before adding navbar fixed top I would like to show you what is it actually does so let me add some uh, dummy text over here and uh, fill this whole height of as you can see over here now if I uh, add this navbar fix it if I scroll down it would be fixed Just look at it it is fixed now without that navbar fixed it would be scrolling down along with the body so navbar fixed helps in fixing it so as we, we had learned in this tutorial uh, we have successfully made our navbar and hope you'll see in the next video tutorial